first take. All right, cameras are rolling. Make sure the camera's rolling. All right, all right. You guys need a clap. I usually don't do a clap, but I'll do one for you. All right, here we go. And I sell back to you. You don't have to tell me action. And sell back to you. Here we go. Hey, everybody. I'm Dwayne Josh. Today, I'm hoisting HQ. I... Wait. Hoist? Come on, guys. I mean, <laughs> sorry. Let's take it again. All right, here we go. Three, two, you don't have to give me action. I always self-action myself. And action, DJ. Thank you, DJ. I'm uh, your host, Duanye Johnson, and you're watching H... Did I just say Duanye? <laughs> I said Duanye. This is jet lag for real, for real, guys. All right, you know what? Let's just take take three. Here we go. Should I clap again? You need me to clap again? Sorry, Dwayne. Hey, Scott. Hey, man. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to do the thing here. Hold on. Yeah, uh, listen, it's great to have you here, but... Uh... We're live. Yeah. We're live yeah. now. Yeah. HQ, this is live. HQ is always live. No takes, no redos. Look, I get it. You're not used to this sort of thing. It's, wow. Okay. This is like my regular gig, so uh, maybe I can give you some pointers. How, yeah. how about that? Okay. I would love some pointers. Yes. I didn't know we were live. Yeah. Okay, look, great. Yeah, look you, you go through a lot of training for your movie roles, like at Rampage, right? I a lot of training. I trained down in the Atlanta Zoo with primatologists and gorillas and silverbacks in particular. Perfect. So, yes. Perfect. So I think this is training for, for hosting. I, I, granted, we probably should have done this before we started rolling, but yes. okay. Look, the first thing you want to say yeah. to the audience out there is, welcome to HQ, the live mobile game show where you answer questions to win cash. Welcome to HQ, the live mobile game show where you answer questions to win cash. Perfect. It. See, it's a lot less rigorous than wrestling gators, all right? Yes. Now you have to introduce yourself like this. Okay. I am your host with a hollow French toast, Quiz Khalifa, Quizzy McGuire, Host Malone, the Trap Trebek, Scott the Pebble Rogowski. You like hey, that? You like that? Drop, man. Yeah. yeah. All right, my turn? Yes. All right, here we go. Okay. I'm your host uh, with the most... Um, Bicep reps. Yes. Uh, AKA Strong John Silver. Perfect. Okay. AKA Muscle Westbrook. AKA Gucci Dwayne. AKA Dame Judy Bench Press. Yes. AKA, here we go, the trailblazing, eyebrow raising, jabroni beating, pie eating, people's champion, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. How was that? I, I think I just wet myself. Oh. That was amazing. All right. Have you thought about Dwayne Alcatraz Johnson? Oh, because the rock, the rock, and then maybe mix it up. You're good, dude. Yeah. Ah, all, right, all right. Now what you gotta do is announce how many players are in the game and give some shoutouts. You see that number right there? Ah, I do. Okay, so uh, uh, wow, two million two hundred and fourteen, sixteen thousand and seventy-six. It's crazy. Yes. That is a lot. I am here to entertain the millions and millions yes, of. Uh, HQ cuties. cuties, I got it. Yes, in look. the HQ universe. Yeah, look, we got Julie Darrington, Becca yeah, Jones, Becca Jones, Margot Reed, oh, Aiden Panda, King Green, PJ at the farm, Emma Dilemma, and happy birthday to Stella. Happy birthday, Stella. Happy birthday. Nice. Okay, now you have to announce the prize. DJ. Okay. All right. This is a big deal. All right. I am HQ's biggest host ever. Literally. Yeah, literally. Literally, you're, you're right? I'm giving out HQ's biggest prize ever. Oh yeah, you are. A whopping. Flopping three hundred thousand dollars right holy now. Holy for a holy three hundred k! You know what you can do with that kind of money? You can see Rampage in theaters thirty thousand times. Thirty thousand times, dude. You know you can buy yourself enough protein powder to last. Uh, let's see, I'm really good at math and weird things. Eleven years, eight months, seventeen days, and two minutes. Wow, that is incredibly specific. Yes. Or, or you could start a Rock for President super pack. You see, don't that's you don't give my ideas. Right. Fair, enough, fair enough. All right. All right, DJ. We're almost there. There's just one thing left to do. All right. I gotta ask if they're ready to quiz with me and get some money. I think they're ready. All right. And then I gotta say, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's get this show on the road. Yeah, baby. Let's hit him with it. Ready? Here we go. Numero. Numero. Uno. What do candles on a birthday cake traditionally represent? Number of friends, age, love of fire. See, we start easy here, DJ. Yeah. This is kind of, you got a birthday coming up, don't you? I do, May 2nd. How many candles are going to be on that cake? Yeah, 22. 22. Yeah. What's your age again? What's your age again? <laughs> age ain't nothing but a number of candles on a birthday cake, of course. Age is the answer here at Q1. 22. You look good for 22, Thank man. Thank you, dude. I appreciate Just that. Just for men? Right? Yeah. 2,189,523 got that one right out the gate. We're going to party like it's your birthday. On to Cumero Numero. Tumero? Give it to him, Which of these Georges was a U.S. president? George Washington, George Jefferson, George Clinton. Boy. George. George! George! That's the name of the, the gorilla in Rampage. George! 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 No. <laughs> George! 
Jewish are destroying America. George. George Jefferson. Well, he may have moved on up to the east side, but he didn't quite move all the way to the White House. You know that. There was a founding father of the U.S. and a founding member of Parliament Funkadelic named George Clinton, but only George Washington was president. Come on, our cumero numero president right there, El Presidente, George Washington, 2,138,760. Are up for the downstroke, making wow. the mothership connection we go. to Q3. <laughs> Give it to him, baby. All right, here we go. Kimro, numero. All three. right. On what day at the gym would you focus on your quadriceps muscles? Arm day, leg day, rest day. You don't have any rest days, do you? I no. no. But don't tap me like that in the back. Okay, right? <laughs> sorry. Yeah. I'm never washing this hand again. You got good quads, though, right? I got some great yeah, quads. They call me Quadzilla. Quadzilla. You never skip this day because your quads connect to your knee, and the knees are part of the leg. Come on, leg day, baby. Leg day, baby. Don't you, skip leg day. You, I've seen those quads. 1,693,338 are legging this one out. They got legs, and they know how to use them. Deej, we're striding on to Q4. Here we go. When gorillas walk, they put pressure most directly on what part of the hand? Fingertips, knuckles, palms. What was it like working with George on set that big? It was really? amazing. It was all motion cap acting. It was just incredible. The wolf seemed like a real prankster, huh? He smelled bad, too, <laughs> yes. Well, this sounds painful, but gorillas actually walk on their knuckles. Hey, it's better than waiting for the subway. Knuckles is your answer Knuckles. at Q4. <laughs> Knuckle up. Give him a knuckle sandwich. Come on. 1,571,828 are saying, I'm knuckle walking here. I'm knuckle walking here. Remember that movie? <laughs> I do. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> that kind of yeah, Q5. Mountain. It was great. Mountain. <laughs> All right. The biggest lake in the U.S. borders, which of these states? Illinois. Iowa, Wisconsin. Uh, Illinois, Chicago, Illinois. It's all about going big. We're asking about the biggest lake here. I mean, this is it. You know, Chicago gets destroyed in the movie. Gets completely destroyed. Chicago sits on Lake Michigan, but Lake Michigan's only the third largest mm. lake. The biggest, a.k.a. greatest of the Great yeah. Lakes is Lake Superior, which borders Wisconsin. Oh, Wisco Stu likes Wisco music. And look at this. <laughs> we just lost over 800,000 at Q5, <laughs> I'm gonna say that's a savage question. Savage. Our first of the game, it's we lost. Savage. Savage. Give it over. We lost savage. over half of you right there. <laughs> 710, 226 are feeling superior. The they're only left thing in this I knew game, was that and they're floating for Q6. What land animal <laughs> holds the Guinness the World the Record right. for the largest mouth? Hippopotamus, African elephant, Bengal tiger. My, what a big mouth you have. I do, Hippo, yes, I yes. The better to eat aquatic grasses with, perhaps, <laughs> my dear? I do. Even though these animals don't really need to open their mouths wide to eat, the hippopotamus has the largest mouth on land. Yes, even bigger than Steven Tyler's mouth. <laughs> That's big. Wow. That's big. Hippo <laughs> is the answer. Imagine if a hippo was exposed to that gas in the movie. What would that look like? Oh, oh man. That CRISPR gas? That was awful. 699,935 oh, are waiting in that swamp. With the, stay away from the hippos. They're dangerous animals. You're getting Q7 right now. Q7. Here we go. Where is the largest sawgrass prairie in North America? Montana, Arkansas, Florida. Are you a golfer, Deach? I'm sawgrass. not. No. But you know Florida. that TPC at sawgrass over there? I do. Yeah. Yes, well, that's, that's in Florida. I oh, know. I don't. I just play mini golf. Ah, uh, okay. Got but, it. But, the, but the, the TPS, TPC sawgrass, that's Florida, and, and the Everglades National Park. I live right there. You're, it's home to the rock and also home to the largest sawgrass prairie in North America. Okay. Yes, Florida is the answer here. Yeah. Sawgrass prairie. Well, do you know what sawgrass is? Oh, I know what it is. It's a savage question. It's savage. At Q7, another one. It's savage, savage. <laughs> it's savage. It's a savage. rampage question. Rampage. <laughs> we lost 500K. We're down to 159, oh. 334. Remember, we had over 2 million starting the game. It's unbelievable. We're already halfway through it, and we're down to 159,000. We're asking 15 questions today, people. Here we you go. You got to get them all right. Let's get QA. QA. Oh, Which of these scientists is credited as the first to give her subjects names instead of numbers? Margaret Mead, oh, yeah. Diane Fossey, mm -hmm. Jane Goodall. Yes. yes, yes, yes. The halfway point here. This pioneering primatologist studied chimps for over 55 years, giving them names like Fifi and Gremlin, and luring them out of hiding with a banana station. There's always money in the banana station. Always. And there could be money in HQ if you answered 
Jane Goodall. Jane, sweet, sweet Jane is your answer here at Q8. She's still alive, by the way. 84. 84. 84 years old. Beautiful. Jane Goodall, 116,383. No, they're primatologists, which is important. You studied with primatologists for the movie. I did, down there in Atlanta Zoo. They Un were amazing. Unbelievable. Yes. We're knuckle walking <laughs> again to Q9 right now. Here we go. Which of these best describes the symbol for not in American Sign Language? Cross forearms, index finger to nose, thumb under chin. Mm. Uh, now you learned sign language too from the movie because you're communicating. Did. Yes. Are, are yes. you okay right now? Are you okay? I'm okay. Are, are you okay? Are you crying? Are you crying? Are you sad? Yes, that's sad. Are we part of the troop? We're part of the troop. Good. Yes, we're part of the troop. <laughs> yes. Well, what's the sign for not? It's the thumb under the chin. Thumb under the chin is your answer here. 41,200 are making the sign for yippee! They're freaking out right now. <laughs> They're moving on. They're moving on. They are demanding Q10. Give All it right, to here them. we go. Measured by magnitude, the largest, the largest recorded earthquake in U.S. history hit what city hardest? San Francisco, California, Anchorage, Los Angeles, California, Anchorage, Anchorage Alaska. Anchorage. That's great. It starts with an earthquake, birds and snakes and aeroplanes, right? A little REM, not uh, your, not your scene. No, well, I tried, I tried to get it to him. <laughs> well, in 1964, Dwayne, a 9.2 magnitude earthquake ripped through this city. It remains the biggest in North American history, it and it all went down in Anchorage, Alaska. Yippee, Ayo, Kaye, 19992. Wow. Getting that one right, we lost more than half of you there. Brutal <sighs> question. A lot of you shaking, trembling. Mm but 19,992 are still standing. 19, they're in it, they're in Q11, it. For Q11, let's do it. Which of these is not a word in the gene editing acronym CRISPR? Hey, I just learned about CRISPR. Palindromic, repeats, sequence. Now, this is real repeats. technology. This is real technology, like in our movie. Yeah, right? It was used for evil in your movie. It was, yes. I hope the real scientists are actually out there using it for good. And these do involve genetic sequences, but sequence is not no. one of the words. Tell them what CRISPR stands for, baby. Clustered, regularly interspaced, short, palindromic repeats. Yes! Oh. Sequence is the answer here. And savagery again, baby. Savage! 4,212 are going to the Savage Garden. Savage. Give it to them. Give it to them. Savage. Savage. <laughs> savage. savage. 17,000 are staying oh. crispy. 17,000 are out. 4,212 are getting Cumero numero 12. Yes, here we go. Hit it with us. Okay, here we go. Coco the gorilla is famous for doing which of these things? Knowing her birthday, meeting a U.S. president, keeping a pet. Yeah. yeah. Coco the gorilla. The Coco. Coco. Gorilla. Yeah. It's amazing. It's about your age right now. Yeah, absolutely. 75. Yeah, because like Ron Kovic, Coco was born on the 4th of July, but she doesn't know that. No. Although her given name was Hanabiko, which means fireworks child. Mm. In addition to communicating in sign language, she has also cared for several cats as pets. She's amazing. Coco is amazing, and Coco keeps pet cats. Yes. Your pet cat. <laughs> 3,527 yes. knew that one. A lot of, a lot of gorilla aficionados in the game. Very there. much so, because they, they knew. they were studying up, because, you know, you're doing they the knew. show today. Yes. You know. They knew. They knew. George. Well, do they, they know Q13? You got to answer three more questions, H cuties. Give it to us. Here we go. H cuties. In the original Rampage arcade game, which monster's face is not featured on the title screen? Gorilla is. I don't know. Gorilla. Lizard. Werewolf. Lizard, werewolf. This could be a like savage. Question. This could be a rampage. Savage. A rampage question. A rampage question. Did you play the rampage video game? I did as a kid. Yes, in a pool hall when I was thirteen How years old. How fun was that? Just reaching the buildings and eating people and knocking them down. Oh, it was the best. And then you got to. Be I in still the do that now. You still, still do that now. now. Yes. Well, if you remember the title card, the lizard and wolf are full frontal, ready to rumble. But your pal George the gorilla, only his fist can be seen punching through the yes. word rampage. Not his face. He's sad. He is sad. Sad. George is sad. And so are. Over 3,000 because 453 are left after that one. Oh, this is Fred and Ben Savage right here. Randy Macho Man Savage. Oh, yeah. The flying elbow drop coming in hard. 453 are left after this one. 3,000 toppled out of the game. We have two questions left. Give us Q14. Q14. According to ancient Rome's iconic epic, what hero was hidden inside the Trojan horse? No. Hercules, Ulysses, 
Achilles. Three hundred thousand dollars is on the line. We started with over two million. We're down to four fifty three. Eight hundred seventy two thousand are watching the game right now, Dwayne. They're just watching. Yes. They're just watching, waiting to see what happens. Here I think they're go. watching for you. Well, of course. Well, yes. The ancient. A little bit you. Yeah, well, mostly you. The ancient Greek <laughs> epic tells of the Trojan horse and the hero inside Odysseus. But thanks to Virgil's rebooting of the Odyssey in his epic poem, The Aeneid, Romans knew Odysseus by a different name, Ulysses. Mm. Ulysses is your answer. 288 are left after oh, that one. Trying to get one their one. hands on some grants like grants. Ulysses. Grants. You know how many Ulysses has grants is $300,000? 6,000 grants is 300K. And that's what we're playing for right now, baby. 300K. For the 288 players left. <sighs> With over 2.2 million to start, it all it all boils all comes down, down to, to this. this. Yes. What do you smell out there? It's just a mouth. This is it. The last question. What HQ is cooking? Dollars. What is HQ cooking what right now? Cooking? 300 thousand at Q15, folks. Which of these cinnamons? <laughs> it's fatigue. Which of these synonyms for big traces its roots to the biggest country on earth? Behemoth. Gargantuan mammoth. Is it not, not cinnamon? It's not cinnamon, <laughs> no, it's jet lag. Synonyms for big. By the way, all these words could apply to you, my friend. <laughs> yes, they can. Behemoth, You're, gargantuan, behemoth mammoth, sexy. Like also <laughs> applies to a prize, $300,000. That's a behemoth prize. Big meets bigger meets biggest. And our final question here, Dwayne. Here we now, go. If you know your old French novels, you know that gargantuan comes from an old French novel. Yes. Behemoth is a biblical word. That's right. Originally in Hebrew. Yep. Yeah. But Israel, where Hebrew spoken, one of the smallest All countries. countries. Mm, but yes. the word mammoth was first used to describe an animal found in Mother Russia, yes. which is the biggest country. And mammoth is your answer. And we've got 83 winners, baby! Spartan 300K! <laughs> $300,000, yes! Oh, man! Yeah. 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 Go crazy, uh, folks! Wow! Go crazy! Amazing. 83 HQ has just put $300,000. There they are. That breaks down to $3,614.45. Wow! Who wants to want today, Rock? Who oh, we got? Oh, we got, we got M Murray Max one. And, and Ricky! Uh, Ricky! Big Chief! Big Chief is feeling mammoth. Big Chief is feeling mammoth today. That's 3600 bucks on a Wednesday afternoon. Amazing. How about that, folks? How about that? Can you believe what just happened here today? We did on 300K. Yeah, yeah, lunch Lunch is on you. I'm on there? Dwayne's going to buy me lunch right now, right? No, I'm not. No. Yes, I am. Okay, well, maybe a little high tea. <laughs> a little high tea, yes. Was this the most go. fun you ever had, dude? dude? It was the most fun. My phone has been blowing up for this, dude. But this has been amazing. Yes, I'm so happy. We got to do it again. More fun than winning national championship in Miami. Well, I mean, I don't know about that. Nothing compares to that. Yeah. No, come on. But Rampage is in theaters tomorrow. Yes. And HQ is live every day at 9 p.m. Weekdays at 3 oh. p.m. Eastern. Yeah, and we're gonna do this every day now, right? You're gonna co-host with me now? Uh, well, I don't know about every day. No, maybe, okay, maybe yeah. every other month and a half every other decade something yes <laughs> yeah we'll bring a lot of money yes. that's what we're gonna do well listen man before you go Dwayne, this yeah. has been so much fun can you oh, just teach me how to do that sleeper hole thing from the movie rampage can you yeah yeah i'll be happy to yeah yeah, 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 yeah yeah but that's a big arm don't yeah. fight it don't fight it don't fight it don't fight it don't fight it all right game over uh hq <laughs> amazing <laughs> okay <laughs>